So today, I decided to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be ranking every slime based on if I could beat them in a fight. Now we have five tiers. The first being, I lose. There's literally no chance of me winning. The second tier is hard fight, meaning there is a chance I could win, but it's going to be very hard. Then the middle tier is a fair match. You know, it's going to be a fair 1v1. Either of us could win. It's really a 50-50. Then the fourth tier is I'd probably win. You know, I'm probably going to beat this guy. He's probably not going to beat me. And the last tier is I'm beating this guy to a pulp. There's no chance. This slime has no chance against me. So I guess let's go ahead and get started. I suppose I'll just go in order from the slimes here. Which, by the way, they do not include Slime Rancher 2 slimes. But starting with the Boom Slime. A lot of you might be thinking, I lose or even hard fight. But I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a fair even 1v1. Cause hear me out, I know this guy explodes, that's literally the whole point of the slime, but it takes him time to explode, and it's very obvious when he's about to explode. It's not instant. So because of this, as long as I back up before he explodes, you know, what's he gonna do to me? Other than that, he doesn't really do anything. But also, if I can't back up in time, I will get my face blown off. But I do think I'm faster than him. I think it will be a fair match. Next up is the crystal slime. Now the crystal slime, I lose. I, I don't see a world where I beat this thing. Because firstly, it can literally create crystals under where I'm standing. And if that doesn't kill me, even if I get up close to it, what am I going to do to it? It's literally made of crystals. Now I don't know what crystals it's made up of. But a lot of crystals are very, very sharp and very, very tough. Unless I have a pickaxe, I don't think I'm going to win. But I'm assuming I don't have a pickaxe on standby. The dervish slime, I'm going to say this is a hard fight. I don't lose it just because of one factor. Is that if me and this slime fight in a non-dusty environment, I'm, I'm absolutely beating him. But if there is any amount of dust, he can create a dust storm, which is going to you know, literally suck me up into a tornado. But if there is no dust, there is no dirt or anything like that, I think I got a chance of winning. That's why he's in a hard fight. The feral slime, I'm gonna say this is actually a fair match, which might sound crazy, but really, what is this guy? He's just angry. He's just an angry slime. You know, so really, if, if we got in a fight, it's just gonna be a all-out brawl, you know, with the best fighter winning. So it's gonna be a fair match. Now, the fire slime, I'm probably beating this guy. I mean, he's very slow, and as long as I have, like, a bucket of water, I think I'm gonna be okay. This guy only eats ash. You know, he definitely does not have the nutrients to fight like I do. You know, I'd be, I be eating chicken and shit like that. This guy eats dirt. I think I'm probably winning against this guy. And I'm also probably winning against the gold slime. Because, really, he doesn't have anything going for him other than he's fast. That's the only thing he has for him. Because, you know, even if I punch him, I'm gonna be getting gold plorts from him you know that's not really a defense mechanism so as long as i can catch this guy he's done for now gordo slimes and this is just all gordos in general i'm 100 beating gordos to a pulp which i know you might be thinking oh jace but they're so big yes and they don't move anywhere they don't move they don't fight they don't do whatever gordo slimes ability they have like this rock gordo slime he doesn't actually roll like the rock slime he just sits there you know this guy has no fighting capabilities whatsoever it's like punching a punching bag and expecting it to fight back it's not going to now the honey slime i'm also beating to a pulp because it literally has no abilities other than it might be good on some food you know, it's literally just honey you know i'm just beating this guy to a pulp and putting him on some toast. Now the hunter slime, this might be a little bit difficult. Mm, I'm gonna say hard fight for the hunter slime. Simply because he does go invisible and um, I'm not very good at uh, seeing things. So <laughs> the fact he's invisible when I'm already not good at seeing things, that's just gonna make my life a lot harder. But you know, if I do catch him out when he goes back to visible for a few seconds, you know, I'm probably gonna beat him. Really, he is just like a cat. Now, radiation slime, this is gonna be a fair match right here. But realistically, if this guy does give me radiation, it takes like a hundred seconds for this radiation to actually build up and kill me. As long as I can, it's kind of similar to the boom slime. As long as I can back up away from him, it's it's no problem at all. So that's not really gonna be a hard fight. But also on the off chance, like the boom slime, that I don't get away in time, I will die of radiation. Which is not fun, but uh, you know, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Now, Largos. I'm gonna put this in fair match, just cause it really depends on the Largo type. Like if it's a crystal in a 
hunter slime together that's gonna be hard i'm gonna probably lose but also if it's like in this picture a phosphorus and tabby slime i'm probably gonna win so it really just depends on what the largo is now the lucky slime i'm beating this guy to a pulp he's kind of similar to the gold slime as in the fact of whenever i beat him up he's gonna give me his freaking lunch money but he's also not fast at all so he, i'm just gonna be pretty much punching a cat and then he's gonna give me money now the mosaic slime now this is a literal definition of a glass cannon he's very strong but also probably very weak because he's made of glass i'm gonna put this in hard fight because even though he's made of glass and i could probably just drop him on his head and win that's assuming i can get close to him because if he explodes one of those sparkles right in front of my face my head is gone like, I don't survive that in any scenario. But also, in the off chance that I do get close to him, I can just kind of kick him and he'll shatter. But it'll be hard. It'll be a hard fight. Now, the party slime, I'm, I lose. I lose to the party slime. I'm gonna end up partying and dancing because I'm gonna be like, oh, wow, this guy's so cool. And then he's just gonna, like, pull out a gun and shoot me while I'm distracted. But I think in every possible scenario, I do lose to the party slime. Now, the phosphor slime, this guy is, he's getting beat to a pulp. I mean, this guy can't stay out in the, in the sun too long, which I mean, I can't really stay out in the sun too long either, but I just get sunburnt. I don't die. All I gotta do is fight this guy in the daytime and I win by default. Even in the nighttime, what he just glows, which makes it easier for me to find him and beat him to a pulp. A pink slime, I mean, he's also going, I'm be also beating a pink slime to death, quite, just to be honest. I mean, he has no abilities going for him. He's just kind of a blob. And I don't think it really deserves much explanation. Puddle Slime? I'd probably beat this guy. Just because, like the Fire Slime, he's slow. I mean, he's made of water, though. That might be the only way I can't win against him. It's because he's made of water. And literally, how do I beat something that's made of water? Every time I punch it, I'm gonna... Actually, yeah, how do I... No, I, I lose. I lose to the Puddle Slime. Because how do I even defeat that i can't pick him up because he's made of water my hands will just go straight through him and i'm assuming by the way i don't have a backpack or anything like that so i can't even defeat this guy i'm just gonna be punching him and all my punches are gonna be going through him oh yeah he went from i'd probably win to i'd definitely lose now the quantum slime i'm probably winning against this guy because all he can really do is teleport but that's really all he does is teleport he doesn't really attack you in game so as long as I can catch up to him, I, I'm beating him. Quicksilver slime. I gotta be honest. This is the slime I will would absolutely never win against. He's going absolutely top. Because not only is he fast, but also he has electricity. Bro, I'm done for. Electricity is like my weakness. There's no way I beat this guy. Now, the rock slime. I'm beating him to a pulp. Now, you might be thinking, but Jace, he has his rolling ability. He's made of rocks. He's gonna hurt you. I don't care. My pure hatred for the rock slime species is gonna be the reason I defeat a rock slime to a pulp. It don't matter how strong he is, my hatred will overcome. Now, a saber slime, I'm putting in a fair match. If I had to fight a saber slime, I'd probably, I don't know, it'd be hard to say whether I win or lose. Simply because it is from ancient times and shit was a lot scarier back then. But also, I have technology, so. So really, it's just gonna be a fair fight. It's gonna be brawn versus brains. Which I'm not very smart, so he'll probably win. But I'll leave him in fair match for now. Now, Tabby Slime, he's going and being to a pulp too. I mean, he's literally the same as the Lucky Slime, except he don't give me money whenever I beat his ass. Uh, he's just going and beat a pulp. Now the Tangle Slime, I 100% lose to. He's going right above the, going right above the Crystal Slime. The Tangle Slime is very similar to the Crystal Slime, as in it can spawn something right beneath my feet, except the vines it spawns can grab my legs and then bring me into the sky and then instantly bring me down and crush my skull against the rock. Actually, no, this guy is scarier than the freaking Quicksilver Slime. Because this guy also eats meat. But not only is he going to kill me, but he is then going to eat my corpse for a lunch. He's, this is definitely the slime you would lose to in a fight. There's no way you beat a Tangle Slime. Now, a Tar Slime, I know what you guys are thinking. I lose. But no, I'm probably beating this guy. Simply because as long as I have like a bottle of water, I'm fine. You know, this guy is just going to die. The freaking water vapor in the air is going to kill him. But yeah, I think I'm fine against this guy. And a Twinkle Slime, I am i mean, I'm just beating this guy to a pulp. Do I need to say any more? But uh, there we go. Here's our list of all the slimes I'd beat and all the slimes I'd lose to. 
I know this uh, video was quite different, but I thought it would be kind of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.